Hi there, this is Jian Jian from Spokane Public Library again. And today we have a special guest, Farmer Dave. Let's see what's Farmer Dave doing today. Farmer Dave? What are we doing? What well, are we planting today? Well, I'll tell you what we're planting today. And I'm really glad you're here. Uh, it's very timely right now in eastern Washington to put in potatoes. Right around April 15th is a great time to do it. And today, what I thought we'd share is a a little bit more about what to look for in a potato, how to put it in the ground, and maybe what you shouldn't be doing as well. So let me get, if you could zoom in over here, I'll show you a little bit more about what we're doing as far as planting, the depth of the planting, and so forth. And here are a couple of ideas for potatoes. Right here we've got everyone's favorite, Yukon Gold, and this is a red potato here. And as you can see on these, there are sprouts at the end. We call them eyes. That's what you should be looking for when you go to a feed store. You should be looking for the eyes on the potatoes. Here's what you shouldn't be looking for right here. What don't you see? This potato is probably nine months old. No eyes whatsoever coming out of it. Why is that? It's because there's a growth inhibitor sprayed on these in the store. The store-bought potatoes that you get at any grocery store, if you plant these, you're not going to do very well because there's no eyes coming out. So in other words, we shouldn't be using the potatoes we buy from grocery stores as seeds, correct? That's correct. You're unlikely to do all that well in the, well, 100 days from now when you would expect to see something. You might see a vine come out, but you won't see a lot for product at the bottom. So don't use the store-bought potatoes. Go to a good feed store and get some good quality, if you can find them, organic seed potatoes. So here's what we're going to do. It, one of the tricks of planting potatoes is you look where these eyes are on here and you, and you can cut these and spread your seed potatoes around a little bit. So you, I don't know if you can zoom down here and see how I take this and just kind of cut this like this. Cut it in half. Some people might go more than that, but if you do, you risk weakening the potato itself. And then you dig a hole. As you can see, you know, we've already got a hole here. And we're going to plant these about... 12 to 18 inches apart. These are pretty big. That probably give us a good yield. But the main thing is make sure you got a, a good distance between your potatoes so they have plenty of room to grow. And also this hole is about six inches. Some people go a little less than that, but here's what you risk later on in the year. You're going to risk the potato as it grows it's, and as you water this bed, what you're going to find is that the potatoes themselves will become sunburned. They'll turn green. They get too much light and they taste terrible. So, is it edible though? It is edible, but I wouldn't recommend eating it because they bitter. taste terrible. They uh -huh. taste bitter, so uh -huh. don't do it. Uh, so those are some tips for you. These are about a hundred days. These potatoes here. So, right around the first of August, we should have a product here that should give us a pretty decent yield. What about the sunlight requirement for potatoes? Sunlight. Mm -hmm. Well, sunlight is important for potatoes. They like, in terms of the, of the vine that's going to come out, it's going to be six to eight hours of full sun's a good thing. And you got to keep the water to them. Not over water, but plenty of water. Because they're tubers, they like they like their water. So they're tubers that grow in from downwards. Right. But no, they push up and when they're too close to the sun or exposed to the sun, they get green. Right. And it's a sunburned. Yeah. Well, thank you very much. Any other tips you have? Uh, any other tips? Uh, I really can't think of anything else to add to it right now, but I would suggest if you like what you see here, hit like and subscribe. Thank you, Farmer Dave. Okay.